Welcome to Old Iron Machine Works. This is uh, this is a lathe that I picked up over a year ago through an auction. Uh, that's my buddy standing on it right there. He actually alerted me uh, when he seen it, um, you know, on the auction site, and I was able to get it. Uh, and he actually right there, he actually volunteered to uh, go look at the lathe ahead of time. And he pretty much said, Gary, it's cooler in person than it is in pictures. And at that point, I was pretty much convinced that I was going to bid on it and hopefully uh, win the bid, which I did. And what it is, is it is a Faye and Scott made in Dexter, Maine. Um, we know it's over 100 years old. We're not aware of any other ones around so this video would be great if somebody else knows of another one like this out there i think that would be very cool um but anyway you know here we're uh, kind of working getting it out of the shop it's the gentleman on the forklift was a previous owner and when he went to work for this previous pattern maker company uh, he actually sold the lathe to the company and he volunteered to help load it up on the trailer if I won the bid. The company was Pacific Steel Casting Company Pattern Shop in Berkeley, California. And the company uh, closed up and apparently they're going to be ripping a couple blocks worth of buildings apart in order to build either condos, uh, duplexes, apartments, something like that. Uh, the outboard faceplate right there actually measure, measures 81 inch uh, in diameter. Uh, my oldest son made a comment before that, you know, he thought it'd be cool to get a lathe big enough to make some big bowls. I, I think this ought to take care of any big bowls he'll ever want to do. Here, I'm kind of double parked right in town in Berkeley. Uh, we made a, a stop. My friend also picked up or he bought a... Uh, a manly 25 ton H frame press, uh, war era. And they said pretty much just park on the street and we can get the press loaded up right there. I don't have footage of loading it up. And here I'm at my place, uh, getting everything unloaded. I know earlier in the video, it, it probably looked like my friend was doing most of the work. But I was quite busy with behind the scenes work. Anyway, that's that's the story I'm going with. In one of my last videos, I also kind of asked for my subscribers what type of videos they like um, and what they don't like. And Randy from Randy and Life's Journey actually uh, commented that he'd like to you know more about the big machines would interest him I uh, wish I could tell more about this machine but I can say that my machines don't really get much bigger than this this was definitely a long day uh, by the time I got home and started getting, uh, getting the forklift over as you can see uh, I'm going down really quick and I want to get the lathe off and load it, get the fork with back and the boat. Unfortunately, I have quite a few old vintage woodworking pieces of equipment. Most of them are in storage units. Um, this one here I actually had to put underneath my carport and covered up with some good tarps and someday I hope to be able to uh, get a nice big shop built that will uh, have a section in it uh, for the old woodworking equipment.
This catalog was found on uh, Keith Rucker's Vintage Machinery site, uh, 1905 catalog, and it was about the only thing that we could really find on this lathe. Here, last Friday, my boy called me after work and, uh, you know, Dad, taking the boat out. Want to go with us? And uh, there's the Rio Vista Bridge. I've lived in Rio Vista pretty much my whole life, since 1964. There's my granddaughter. And I really never took it for granted, but, you know, living in Rio Vista on the water has always, always been a uh, pretty special, a great place to to raise a family and you know now uh, you know the granddaughter being able to spend time on the water just like her grandpa did anyway some of the other YouTube guys will throw in little clips of uh, you know their area and, you know some people like it some people don't but I just thought I'll throw a little bit in pretty much all this area is just within um, that day we never got five miles away from home yeah like uh, most people it seems like this winter just never stopped and it was nice to finally get some nice weather Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out my channel. I do have several machining uh, project videos that are in the works. Hopefully, I can be uh, finishing some up and getting them uh, getting them out. But once again, if you like this kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up.